this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 49. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find invalid indexes and rebuild them manually. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to find invalid indexes in the DB2 database and rebuild them uh, manually or individually. Uh, the system catalog, like this is cat.indexes table uh, or catalog view, uh, do not report invalid indexes in a direct manner. So the solution for this is we have to use the routine sysproc.admin underscore get underscore index, index info. So this routine can uh, return uh, uh, multiple information like it returns the size of the index in kilobytes, the compression attributes, whether the index is compressed or not, whether it is using uh, large uh, RIDs or uh, regular RIDs and whether the index requires rebuild or not. So this is that invalid index uh, option that I'm talking about. And also the reclaimable space in, in kilobytes. So we can use the reorg indexes uh, command with rebuild option to rebuild the indexes uh, specifically on a particular table like that, okay? So let's uh, jump into uh, quickly into few examples. So here I have already uh, connected to the sample database. I have created a table staff and there are two indexes idx1 and idx2 in on that particular table and i have also loaded some sample data into that so let us first run the admin get index info uh, routine so here you can see that i am passing the uh, i i means like index we are we are requesting index information under the schema db2 inst1 and the name of the index so i am asking for a specific index here okay so i'll connect to sample okay let me just quickly run that query here so this is like so for that specific index so i can see that for the index db2 inst1 dot idx1 uh, the index is not a compressed index and it is uh, 5120 kilobytes it is using large id uh, large rids and the reclaimable space is zero and it does not require any rebuild. So this is like for specifically if you want. So I can also another variation of the same uh, uh, routine. So here you can see I am passing T as an ar argument. So which means it's a table. So DB2 INST1 schema dot staff table. Okay, so in that uh, how, so what are all the indexes there like that? So this particular table contains two indexes IDX1 and IDX2. Uh, and both are uh, not compressed and the size of the index and the large RIDs are regular RIDs and whether it requires rebuild or not. So you can see N means it is it does not require a rebuild, okay? And uh, you can also see, uh, okay, let me just demonstrate. I'll just load some data into this table uh, using the indexing mode deferred, okay? So when I say like that, right? Uh, okay, let's see what happens. So the load utility is running, okay. The load utility has completed. So now I'll again run the index. So you can see the index object size and all is becoming null. See this this is because the index requires rebuild. See here, Y, right? So which means that the index requires rebuild. And uh, so how to rebuild the indexes? So that's very simple. Uh, Reorg index all for table staff, allow read access, rebuild option. So that's the one I'm going to use now. So this will uh, reorganize uh, the indexes for that particular table. Uh, so let's let it, it is taking some time because of the huge number of rows. Okay, so yeah, it's completed now. So again, I'll run the same admin get tab info. You can see that the index object uh, size is also there and it does not require uh, rebuild anymore because uh, of the uh, reorganization. Okay, that's it in this video tutorial. You can use the admin get index info uh, routine in multiple variations so please refer info center for uh, additional information uh, thank you uh, for uh, watching please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy that's it in this video tutorial thanks bye bye